check out all these Colts. That's gonna be mine. I know I keep talking about it, but I haven't quite yet pulled the trigger. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy. We back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let me a comment, share the video, all of that. So as you see by the title, as you see by the thumbnail, we got another show going down for y'all boys. And if you watched my last video of this show, the Texas Gun Show, if you watched my last video, you've seen that I said this is the best gun show in Texas. They have the most premium tables, the most premium guns, hands down if you watched that last show you will you will understand why i said that and this one is going to be no different so basically that's where we're headed right now but this one is going to be in like a resort so this one is at i think it's called gaylord resorts or something like that but this one is nice you know i might actually have to you know get a room and kick my feet up because this is a nice place let me show y'all how this place looks it's glistening yeah i said glistening off that water Yo, this is, yeah, this is presidential. I might have to relax a little bit, you know, sit back, relax a little bit before we get to them guns because this is gorgeous. Like, this looks crazy. I know y'all came in here to look at guns, but y'all now y'all looking at scenery. So we about to fast forward and skip all the way to the gun show. See y'all boys, get what y'all want. See y'all boys, stay tuned. All right, y'all, so as y'all see, we finally made it in, but they're not quite open yet. So as you see, people are still setting up their tables and I think they opened about like 30 minutes or something like that. But if you watched my last show, you've seen how I said this is the best gun show in the state of Texas, definitely in the DFW. And if you didn't watch that video, y'all boys stay tuned because I'm gonna show y'all why this is the best in the state of Texas. They already got it going down. Most premium tables, I think that I've seen in Texas, period. Most premium guns that I've seen in Texas, hands down. So y'all boys stay tuned, sit back, relax, and I'm gonna show y'all why this is the best gun show in the state of Texas. Hey guys, so now I'm over here with my boy Rick over at Wild Arms, and he's gonna kind of show y'all and tell y'all what they got over here. All right, so we got our new design here with a little bit of skeletonized cuts. Anybody that mentions it is OB. Grab one of these, you get one of these for free. It Y'all got to call and say life with OB sent y'all. That's the contact one more time for the people in the back. Fully ambidextrous. We build for speed and competition, so it does have a 45 degree quick throw safety. Oversized mag release, oversized ambi charging handle, oversized bolt release. There's that nice red dot he was talking about. This is our new design again with our new grip. It comes with everything you see, the red dot fiber optic flip ups. Let me see those. Look at those sights. So the flip-up sights come with it too? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. You, you, everything you see, you get. We don't take anything away. We a lot of pride in what we do. We're very confident in our stuff, so it, it is back with the lifetime warranty. We are veteran-owned and operated. Okay. Texas made. They all come with hyper-fire triggers? Three and a half pound, match-grade competition triggers, hyper-fire, yes, sir. If you guys don't know, I, I'm gonna do a review on, on the hyper-fire triggers. So they're sending me out a couple of things. They're one of the top triggers out there, so. Y'all, they get y'all giving you fully ambidextrous. You get the mag, you get the sight, you get the flip up sights, and the tolerances. So, I made a comment in the last video about it having slight wiggle. And what did y'all do? Oh, yeah, we immediately first thing we did Monday morning when we got back from the gun show is we went and fixed that, fixed that issue. Y'all, I checked this out. No lie, this is close to my radio model one no lie like i cannot wiggle this thing for nothing and i really tried so they're really giving you a lot here like really giving you a lot and now this unit right here what's the price point 14.99 that is uh, ridiculous it's actually we usually always do better for the gun show so uh -huh. normally that something like this would be 16.99 at least uh-huh um, especially with the red dot it would be 17.99 uh -huh. but again for the gun show Jeez it Louise. is a hell of a deal man 14.99 red dot two mags hat lifetime warranty can't beat it, man. Y'all, if y'all go check out the price of that trigger alone, y'all will understand. And the lightning cuts on the grip, on the frame, like, come on, like, this is a deal. This, oh, that color is hitting crazy. I know y'all see that on the camera. Um, but like I said, if this is not your style, which I really can't imagine, they got all different types. That matte green go crazy. That matte green go crazy. But they got all different types. Plain black, FDE, this, and this one is just, this one is ridiculous right here. Actually just released that color. So this is a brand new color. Jeez, and what's the, what, what's the price point of your pistol? 
So they're going to be $13.99. You still get everything. You still get everything. You still get the red dot. You still get the two magazines. Actually, this is my favorite of our models because kind of you get the best of both worlds with this. It's 10 and a half inch barrel. So you're going to get a lot of distance and accuracy like you would a rifle. Uh -huh. But it's still short and compact like a pistol should be. Jeez, so great for home defense. Best value. Best value at the show. That's why I that's why I had to come over here and show y'all this first. Y'all boys hit them up. This is them right here. This is the number. That's the number right there. Uh, I think y'all got that's the website. That's the number. So definitely hit them up. I definitely got a call. Tell them life would all be sent, y'all. Y'all gonna get the best value in y'all life. But one more time for the people in the back. Y'all boys check them out. All right, I appreciate it, brother. Right, now we're gonna start it all. With an SP5 right there. We got two on. That's the K. That's the baby one. When I told y'all premium, you're def this is if you want to see the best of the best, this is definitely the gun show to go to. Tag on this one. It is number team. And you have to remember everything is open to negotiation. So nothing you see is set in stone. Everything's open to negotiation, especially cash talks. Like that's what's that's where you're really gonna see the benefit of coming out to these shows. is set in stone that's why you come to shows because you can't really negotiate with the internet so you definitely got to hit these shows that's if you're big time Got the pistol version. Mossberg style shotgun made by Klinishnikov, USA. Mini Draco. Got the micro Draco. And I think that's the full size Draco. So if you want a Draco, definitely the place to be. Let's see the price on that full size. $8.99. We got a Chiapa. No, Charles Daly. I was about to say Chiapa. Charles Daly triple threat. Triple honcho. Triple barrel shotgun. And they got all three. So this one is still classified as a shotgun, even though it does have the pistol grip, but the barrel length and the overall length still classifies it as shotgun. So you can be 18 plus and get that one. That one still has a stock to it. That one has the wooden grip. I think only this part. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it, man. So as you see, this one, you can just take out the, the the stock on this one. So it's gonna still have this piece right here. It's not gonna quite, quite look like this, but just in case you want something a little shorter. Honestly, this is the only gun show that I've seen these at. And I've been to a lot. We got an American Classic in 38 Super, hard chrome finish, which is a super durable finish for that 1911. And I think they make this, well, I have a 10 millimeter, and I think they also make it in nine millimeter and 45 ACP. Look at that Mossberg shockwave with that big. 
that man go crazy. Mag fed Mossberg shockwave. Then we got the wooden grip next to it. And the chainsaw next to it. And then we got the Saint S 223 Wild flat trigger. This is actually a really heavy gun. So this is gonna be a super soft shooting gun right there. And it comes with a B5 stock. Well, I think that's a B5 stock. But I've been wanting to test this out. Y'all let me know. If any of you guys out there ever tried this one out, y'all let me know how it shoots, how it runs, because I've been wanting to try it out. A lot of people think it looks ugly. I actually kind of like the way it looks. We got a CZ Print 2 pistol next to the PTR. PTR Chamberlain 308. Assuming that's a loud one right there. Out all these Colts. That's gonna be mine. I know I keep talking about it, but I haven't quite yet pulled the trigger on it. And that Bear Edition 500 Magnum. And the other, ooh, they got an Arsenal AF 2011 double barrel 1911. I have not seen one of those outside of my collection. That's the crowd pleaser right there. Next to the Gold Desert Eagle. This is why I said this is the most premium gun show. Then they have a Gold Draco, Gold AK-47. Now if you want to step over to the Big Boy Revolvers, you got the Taurus. Look at the break on that. I need to explain what that is. It's, it's not stainless steel. Uh -huh. It's Novella, which is a uh, special metal coating that was made in, in here in France. And it's a very rare gun. Yeah. That's been $1,400 for it. Okay. It is still new. Never fired? I don't believe it's ever been fired. That, that's the extra mag. Okay. The, the booklet. And that's the original box that it came in? Yes. Original box. Nivell is what they call the finish that's on it. And it would be made in, uh, in urine France. Let me see. Like things for Brown, over carry. This one never been fired? That's never been fired. Jeez Louise. And this one is brand new, unfired. Okay. And that's a 41 Magnum. That's a no dash, original box, unfired. Jeez. So is that one. This one has been fired. But it's a original stainless steel rear sight. Uh -huh. It has the black sight in it, but it has the original stainless, and this part is stainless. That was only done for a very short time in the first year. Jeez. It's a uh, Diamondback 38. That's in the old two-piece uh, box. That's a Texas Ranger. They only made 500 of those, and that has incredible engraving on it. Jeez. Even the grips are all engraved. And is this from factory that they did that? Oh, absolutely, yeah. That's all factory done. Jeez. That's one of the prettiest guns that you'll ever see come out of college. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And this one's never been fired either? Right. It's brand new. Jeez. And the box has, still has the cellophane wrapper on it. Oh, yeah. The light on it. That is crazy. And it's not gaudy. Yeah. It's done very in very good taste. Yeah, yeah. You have a question about any of these? I 
high standard. High standard made out of high standard. So they modify. The other ones didn't have that. Right. This has a release in the front. We got a DP12 or a strand. But that comes with everything. Everything. All db 12 out. Double barrel shotgun. Pump action. Every pump, you get two trigger pulls. You got some lever actions. Henry lever actions. We got a white AUG sitting right next to a camel one. Well, it's not really a camel. I don't know what you would call that. And then we have a Gilboa double barrel, double trigger. Where's the trigger? Double mag. Charging handle actually charges both sides at the same time, but you can do left trigger all day long. You can do right trigger all day long. AR-15, 556223. Louise. Game changer. Let's see what they see what they're just in case you want to change the game with it. Then we have an IWI Galil rifle. Sitting next to the Carmel. From IWI. Shot that one that shot show. Some of the rares AK. What's special about that? Well, it's. This one right there is probably the rarest on the table. Did you guys end up selling one of these in Colorado? Yeah, we will be there also in Tulsa. You will be where? In Tulsa? Yeah, in Tulsa. Oh, that big gun show. Yeah. Okay. Probably the rarest thing on the table, honestly. They usually have a spa somewhere here. It looks like that one is gone. But they do got some heat still. Gun show special right here. A Lark Grizzly chambered in 45 wind mag. You're not going to find this. Look at the grip on that. How big that grip it is. Comes with two mags. That comp on top. That is a rare one right there. Comes with the ammo, comes with the sight. Got another one chambered in 50 AE. That's the big boy right there. What did you to Smith and Wesson's new performance in it? Hey, somebody let me know if y'all shot this before. Is this this is a this is different. They're making their barrels a little bit different. And their box is all black. Seven eighty nine, seven forty nine. That seven eighty nine? Yeah, what's the difference between the two? I don't know, they look the same. This one is seven sixty nine. Kind of a Mossberg. Oh, the grip feels good on this one. Mossberg Shockwave shotgun. This one is $5.99. 
380. We got a legion up here. Is that that brand new CZ Shadow 2 Compact? I don't see the tag on that one. That one just came out. That one feels so good in the hand. Optics ready. This is the talk of the town right here. Show some revolvers. This is D5-7. Best 5-7 in the game right now. Next, I will put the Ruger, then probably the FN. This is a 22. It looked the same to me. Smaller grip. That's, that's probably the only thing I see. Smaller grip. Springfield. Actually, y'all been telling me to review this one. Like, I might, I might have, I might have to hit up Chris because he just did a review on one. It's definitely probably gonna be my thing next. Springfield XDM 10 millimeter. Springfield Elite. Optics ready. I, I don't like the U sight in the back, but. Really nice. Prodigy. 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 The four and a quarter. Definitely, definitely a crowd pleaser right there. The five, I'm pretty sure they, you know, kind of got out all the kinks with the five. But the four and a quarter, never had an issue with. That's F10 millimeter. Glock 29. Shortest 10 millimeter Glock makes. SF stands for slim frame. I'm pretty sure it stands for slim frame. Glock 20 MOS. When Glock wanna throw you a bone, let you put an optic on there. Is that the 40? Oh, they got the whole lineup of 10 millimeters. The longest, I think that's a six inch barrel. Doesn't, yep. Six inch barrel, five inch barrel. And I'm not quite sure what this barrel length is on this one. What do we have here? We got the 35, 40 Smith and Wesson. 40 Smith and Wesson. Right here we got the Glock 45, nine millimeter threaded barrel. Now I think it's ready. Or if you just want to ball out. Got a Cerakoted gold one. Got a Duck Armory flat face trigger. Uber LC Charger 5.7. Sentry Arms Visca AK 47. Then we got one with the wooden stock. I'd prefer the one with the wooden stock over the A suit right here. Over the tactical looking one. ATI. Diamondback pistols. GX4, good value. And we got the Taurus Judge, 45 HP. High polished finish right there. Got a Kenbert Custom, 1911. Shadow System. Got these little mini switch guns. I wonder, actually, I wonder if people actually carry these. Let me know in the comments if you actually carry one of these. We got a Canic TP9AF in that OD green with that camel green. But Canics, look at that price. Like Canics, you get a lot for your money with Canic. You really can't beat them. Got a Ruger 5.7 in that FDE. That one looked better than he. Yeah, that's definitely a crowd pleaser. I feel like that's the best looking one. That one even looked better than the Smith and the Smith and Wesson. Yeah, 
at the FN 509. This is not the tactical. It's not optics ready. The tactical was my one of my first carries. Nine millimeter. Well, people might not like the tactical. Taurus. That's lighter than I thought it was. Got a Walter PPS. Tiny little gun. Beautiful Beretta. 45 long coat. Look at the color on that. Jeez. Twenty-four Magnum, y'all. Only the OGs remember the 454 Casol I had, the Super Red Hawk Alaskan. That was my first wrist breaker gun. It's that bad boy right there, in chambered in 454 Casol. It's the gun show special. So defensive rounds, hollow points. You said there's 225 in this? Yes, 200, yeah, 230 and, actually. Okay. These right here, that's the last tray. Everything else is full. Full, okay, okay. And you said there's 150 in here? At least. At least 150. Yeah. Light, optics yeah. ready. Yep. All for that right there. Yep. And a holster. Yes, sir. Holster. It's I, it's a, I don't if it's the only forty I have anymore. I had uh -huh. a few forties back in the day, and I just kind of got rid of them. Uh huh. I don't need the ammo or anything, so I figure, hey, if Jeez. I can make a package deal to somebody that's looking for everything, that's a deal you're right a there, big dude. It would fit you better than it fits me. AK forty seven. Underfolder, PSA. Cherry wood hand guard and grip. Then we got the same thing in that walnut. Got a pistol that looks like chambered in nine millimeter. I think it's chambered in nine millimeter. It's kind of cool though. That one, the cheese grater hand guard, under folder, walnut grips. On that bottom handguard, 762 by 39. And we got some ARs in this FDE. Got a AK-47 chambered in 556. Five, I like this handguard. So we have one chambered in 762 by 39. That same handguard. That will fill up your hands really well. So I think that'll feel good in the hand. 556, five, 762 by 39. Then we got one. That dong on it. I like the color of this wood. That's a really good wood color, color right there. $9.99, that's a really good one. This handguard feels good. What is this? $1,200 with the bipod? We got a Jackal, PSA Jackal, chambered in 556 in that OD green side folder. I've been meaning to charge it, try this. Ambidextrous, ambidextrous. Somebody keep telling me it's not ambidextrous, it's ambidextrous or something like, y'all know what I mean. But yeah, you can switch over that hand guard to the right and left side. So it's technically is, it doesn't have an option to have it both ways, but yeah, you can switch over that hand guard to the other side. Side folder. You got a cheek riser on this one. So, adjustable stock. It's actually gonna be pretty comfortable. What's, what are they asking for that? It's not a bad value. Another one. FDE, another Jackal. Just in case that OD Green is not your preference, they do have one in FDE. I think I see one in black too. So. Okay. You got this kind of weird looking wood one. She's greater upper hand guard. I like that bolt in that. On that bottom hand guard. 762 by 39. Can't go wrong with a 762 by 39. Then you got one with Magpul, furn furn Magpul furniture. 
stock, grip, hand guards. Odi green and black. Same old, same old. What are these going? Got some 5.7s over here from FN. 5.7 FTE. And then we got the Ruger 5.7. That was the second best for me right there. Got a Reflex in black and FDE. Then we got an FN 510, the best 10 millimeter striker fire to come out this year. 22 plus one rounds of 10 millimeter. That is crazy. FN 509, that's also not the tactical. Mechanics, and this table belongs to them. Just in case you see anything you like and just know that everything is up for negotiation everything is up for negotiation nothing is set in stone so that's the benefit of hitting these shows up so we go we got the dark side with the optic on it another dark side without the optic can it rival in gray standard SFX, SFX Pro, ready barrel, optics ready. I'm mean, telling you, Canik, you cannot beat it, Deb. I love this extended mag release, flat trigger, gives you a rail at the bottom. Like, what else would, would you ask for on a pistol, honestly? Canik, they, their value is just crazy. Oh, I like that sight. I like that sight. Jeez Louise, for that? 221 plus 20 plus one mags in it so 20 round mags one in the head jeez can it the rifle got a compact legion right here can't go wrong with six legions here i think that's my favorite gun from sig that's my favorite line a lot of people would think it's you know the macro or something not the legion series that that's my thing right there speaking of the macro px x macro uh that's not the one i was looking for this is what i was looking for macro with the comp on it so this you know a lot of people's loving this this was arguably probably one of the best ccws of 2023 just because it had that comp in the slide not the barrel so the slide is just cut and the barrel is shortened mitigates recoil at least felt recoil keeps that muzzle down and then we got our legions nine millimeter That is heavy. More compact one threaded barrel. Kimber 1911 can't go wrong with a Kimber. These are P series. Ugh, man, these 1911s. I don't care. Like these favorite pistol. Not nah, not counting the 2011s and stuff like that, but definitely favorite pistol. 1911s. If I was to go 1911 versus polymer, I would definitely pick a 1911. But you can't beat the round capacity of something like a Glock or something. We got some Rock Island 1911s. Got a Beretta. Smith and Wesson. Still frame. Optics ready. Smith Wesson is also one of those brands. 
that are really doing a lot for their customers. Not as much as Canik, but we're doing a lot. So we got a Colt and a Conda, six inch barrel. I think they said they just got this one in. I'm gonna have a, a promo code coming for y'all boys with this one. Well, at least everything you see here at the table. Got a Walter. Let me know if I should do a Q5 match still frame for a giveaway. I think that'll go crazy, but yeah, they have a lot. So I got some coming for you guys with this table, but I'm not gonna say too much yet, but it's in the works. Intertech, Florida, DC-9. So this one does have the DC-9. It doesn't say the Tech-9 on it. So this was after they switched it to DC-9. It used to say Tech-9 on it for Miami. It's another Charles Daly shotgun. I think this is, is this a pump? You see me. They don't got a price tag. They got a mayor's leg right there. A shockwave and then some lever actions. Desert Eagles to 50AE, 50AE. These people honestly make some decent ARs too. Um, I don't think these are full ambidextrous. But the lockup on them was really good. Really nice lockup. I haven't shot one of these yet, but people who have, they swear by them. That red is not bad. So do you guys have any lowers that are fully ambidextrous? You guys make them? Oh, you guys don't? Okay. Ambidextrous charging handles. So. Decent value though, from what you get. I do wish that the lowers were, you know, ambidextrous, but can't have it all. This one is a 4570 Henry. They got a 3030 also Henry. He's one of my YouTube guys. I knew you looked familiar. <laughs> that is crazy. And you said you're the biggest Henry dealership in, in Texas. In Texas. That is crazy. They do, you guys do have a lot. All right, y'all, so they do have tons of lever action Henry's. Tons of them. Really hard to find one, so. We do have a Tommy over here. Tommy gun, 245 ACP. They want three for that. Shockwave, Mossberg. We got some Kimbers. I wonder how durable these finishes are. Do people carry the life card, life? Cards, yeah, life cards. People carry these. A 
like the camo Cerakote on the Glock though. The tan one. All right, y'all, so as you see, they are starting to die down. The show is about to end, but they do have another opening tomorrow. So it's a two-day show, Saturday and Sunday. Now you see why I kind of call them the best show in the state of Texas. So like I said before, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share the video, and until next time, I'll catch you on the next video.